Hey, welcome back to Happy Little No Trees. Today we're going to talk about OpenDRT, the newest update, and stick shift. Um, and what does that mean for the future of color grading? Um, because, yeah, if you've been around on the channel for a while, you know I'm a big fan of using OpenDRT as a DRT display, much better than the innate baked in Resolve Transform. But today uh, is currently. If you look at this list, we have the original Sauce Open DRT coming in at DaVinci Ride Gamut. DaVinci Ride, this is what normal, normal open. Uh, what I've been using for a while, and now we have beta versions uh, that are getting close. We're up to beta version number three, and there's going to be some differences to how Open DRT works. And yeah, you get to this is just the regular manu manual or regular automatic version um, and you can change your peak luminance value which my monitor is set to 100 nits I'm not working HDR which if I did that is actually fun in terms of how that is just functioning I'm on a standard definition I, I really like that in terms of creating a look uh, your creative white range and then you can change that too which if you know anything about my project love of projector grading and that setup, goody, 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 goody. And so, yeah, fun, 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 fun. Uh, there's look presets. There's the base look, and then there's the default look. There is the tone scale look that is high contrast. So we have some options. Uh, low contrast, we have a high contrast too. Ooh, nice and snazzy. And we're going out to, yeah, Rec 709 Gamma 2.4, so. That's the default settings, which is all gravy. There's nothing else going on, but fun. That is where OpenDRT is going. But OpenDRT also has, if you read the documentation, stick shift version, which is pretty much to say it starts out looking the same. From what I understand, we can see, make sure all these are turned on like so. D65, all these same settings. but. When it comes to getting to display, uh, Jed Smith has done something amazing, and he has done there, gone, and made every single parameter exposed. And I haven't really even dived into this enough to know that I am going to probably have to spend some time, because I think you can build your entire look in here just by playing around with with the sliders. I might still pair it with so this is like what you've had but like think about this I'm affecting just I wish he had we could draw the curves on the screen uh, Maybe he'll add that feature. But we're just affecting the contrast in the high end on this. Like, we're not affecting, it's, it's where it's sitting. We can control just the contrast in the high end. We can control the contrast, the contrast on the low end. And so really shaping that curve is just all of a sudden opened up so many doors. Render space strength. And then we get into hue rotation. So this is what made the math on. Uh, and we can go here. Let's uh, the math on how OpenDRT worked uh, originally. We'll just go gallery diagnostics RGB chips. And we'll just bring that in there, like so. My power grids get freaky. That's weird. Uh, so we have our our normal chips pattern going into it, and now you can see down here where we're flitting, flitter, flittering around. We're just working the red channel, and we're drawing a shape, and we can go hue shift red, hue shift. But we have a six vector hue shift control. Uh, we can control the purity at the top end. Uh, 
which means we're working individual channels to pretty much design how our yeah this is lovely uh, how everything works so purity we're working just the red channel and it's compression and then a yeah, hue shift we can bend that around any way we want and that works how it works on the high end and then our hue contrast right there and still change our white point which I like I wish uh, one thing I guess I could say is it'd be nice if he had this you could just pick any instead of just having presets But yeah, what do you guys think? Like, is this too much? Uh, leave some comments. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on being able to do everything. I mean, at the end of the day, we're beholden to how he wants to code this, but I feel like at the end of the day, you can totally shape an entire look just off of that. Like... If we just even go, just pump this straight out for now, instead of looking at any diagnostics, add an out corrector, uh, the layer mixer, we can go here, and just go bloop, bring this in up here, and just go like this, nope, nope, did it wrong. another node here we're just gonna go here we're just gonna go here and we'll just go like this copy for now paste it for now and then we'll switch it back to original sauce uh, so this is where original sauce just takes us out of the box and like normally I would go work under contour and build in contrast and start shaping various things but like Look at the difference between here and here. Like, this is a well-rounded look that took me like five minutes to do all that. I... Yeah. I mean, I can even come back in and do some shot level things. Like, show. But I kind of like how that is looking. But I didn't even want to try. Uh, it's a bit of a more desaturated look, but that's fine. And part of that is probably this one. Probably using it all wrong. I don't know. So yeah, what do you think? Uh, would you use this, this stick shift version of a DRT where pretty much every pa parameter on every vector is open for business and tweaking and t changing and fiddle farting around? Because you can really dive in and play with it. That's bringing some of the color back instead of having to bleach out. Yeah, fascinating. Anyways, until next time, I'll keep you updated on when this comes out of beta. I think it's available on GitHub uh, already, so yeah, have fun. See you in the next video. Ta-ta for now.